Welcome to Finish Strong, Start Fresh, Colorado Christian University's new series with encouragement to finish the year strong and to start fresh in 2021. My name is Brian Goff. I'm the pastor at Highline Community Church. We're a CCU Christian higher education partner church, and we're located in Greenwood Village, Colorado, right in the heart of the Denver Tech Center. And in this bi-weekly segment, we're going to be unearthing understanding from God's word about work and vocation. Uh, as you know, work can vary in its environment, its trajectory, its responsibilities. You might work in a variety of, of locations, the service industry, in an office, maybe from home, maybe outside. You may work full-time or part-time. You may be a, a stay-at-home full-time parent, which is an awful lot of work. Um, you may be brand new to the workforce. You may be looking for a job. You may be looking to change careers, uh, or maybe you're right in, in the middle of your career. Um, one thing we know is that this year we have learned that there are different ways to work and we've all learned to be flexible and adaptable and, and uh, as we've figured that out. And you may not know this, but the scriptures have a lot to say about work. There are actually over 800 passages in the Bible that talk about work. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to read all of them, but I am going to read just a little bit from uh, the very beginning, actually, from Genesis chapter 1 and then a quick verse from chapter Two. So Genesis chapter 1, verses 27 and 28 say this, God is creating the world. He's been forming the land and the sea and the animals and the birds and, and uh, the fish and all these things. And then it says, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the, he of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And then in uh, chapter 2, verse 15, the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and keep it. So three quick takeaways about how this passage uh, relates to our work and how we think about our work. And the first thing is, it's, it's interesting, everything we've just read about work is before the fall. And that means that work is a part of God's created order. It's not a necessary evil. It's not something we just have to get through, but it's actually part of how God designed the world. Um, it's also significant that the creator God, who is himself working to form and fashion the world, created us in his image, and immediately gave us work to do. And that means that God created us and designed us to engage in meaningful work. And, and the third takeaway is that, you know, if, if the God who is always at work created us in his image, ourselves, to work, um, then we honor him by living joyfully into our design. And, and in fact, you might say, you know, for many of us, we spend a, a big chunk of our lives, perhaps even the, the major chunk of our lives, engaged in work, in our vocation. And so you could say that is often the primary place where we practice what we're called to do, loving God and loving our neighbors through honest, hard work done with integrity um, through the way that we treat those around us, our employers, those who work under us, colleagues, customers, with grace and love and respect. And in so doing, we are honoring the God who made us to be people who engage in work. So I hope you're encouraged by God's word this week, and, and I pray God's blessing on you wherever you might be in your work journey. And we'll see you next week.